lovely stuff guys i hope you're having a good weekend and um, this is going to be your last week of crossfit program until we then have a deload week and then we, once we have a deload week we're then going to go into our benchmark week so set the foundations to uh, have a good benchmark week in two weeks time we're going to start off monday five sets of two front squats at 85 percent plus everyone's going to start at 85 percent and progressively build a little bit of weight over the course of your five sets thinking can we finish on something that's 90 percent plus without going to the point of failure um so obviously thinking about good elbow positions thinking about a good breath and brace and thinking about moving well all right and then again just priming the central nervous system to get used to the heavier load before we go to test workout then is going to be a 10 minute amrap and it is a complex the complex is one squat clean into two front squats into one hang squat clean so that's going to get a little bit grippy coming back into that hang squat clean um you then into a 400 meter bike so obviously the complex must be done unbroken the bike is there as a little bit of a breezer if anything but the focus is on the barbell so weight on the barbell is 50 and 35 so not exactly heavy so again you should be kind of picking that up and you know accumulating a good few rounds there tuesday we have some upper body push pull work we're going to go for eight to ten reps of a decline dumbbell bench press and then a bent over row and then into a 30 second hollow hold do more work than you did last time be that weight or repetitions we're then into a 20 minute pyramid so if you can imagine the shape of a pyramid it will shape up and then back down kind of simulates the side of the workout 25 toast bar or a knee raise 50 burpees 75 dumbbell push press a 1000 meter run so you'll obviously lap the block and then you'll do another 200 um if you're not doing the 1000 meter run or you're doing 2.5 kilometers on your bike it's then back down to 75 dumbbell push press 50 toes to bar, 50 burpees then 25 toes to bar so we go up and we go back down reps wednesday we have some hinge volume uh we're going to do five sets of five repetitions of our rdl at 55 percent so a five percent increase from four weeks ago we're still keeping that three second tempo on the way down our workout then after that we have a little ladder down so it's 21 18 15 12 of a deadlift and a box jump the deadlifts are going to be heavy here um weights are 1960 if you want to go or x even if you're not going or x do go heavy so even if 60 kilos is a heavy weight for you for a male go 60 um obviously not to the point of maximal but something that's going to stimulate and challenge you otherwise you're kind of missing the point um thursday then we have a 16 minute amrap this is our wide accessory day zero to seven minutes you're gonna have three bar muscle ups in three porch or three chest bars it's then five push-ups and a 100 meter run when you've done that you're going to take a two minute rest and then you're into another seven seven minute amrap five pull-ups five handstand push-ups and a 100 meter run so you just repeat those rounds for the seven minutes in both sections the pull component starts hard in the first piece and gets easier in the second block whereas the push component starts easier and gets hard in the second block all right we're then into some accessory work you'll have to complete five rounds in 15 minutes i have a dumbbell floor press to tricep extension where you'll kind of do your floor press and close grip then you'll do a tricep extension that looks like a skull crusher and you'll keep flowing and repeating through that dumbbell press to extension from there you're going to go into a 20 second planche hold and then you're going to give me five pull up negatives with a three second tempo on the way down so be strict on that negative because there is only five reps on friday then we're finishing off with a partner wad you have a 32 minute amrap um, P1 max cals on the row, P2 complete five rounds of 15 double unders, 10 ab mat sit ups, and then five wall balls. All right, it's kind of thinking, I'd say it'll take about three minutes, maybe four minutes to do five rounds. So, um, looking at about 60 calories potentially, while partner two is doing the rounds, partner one might accumulate about 60 calories. Anyway, gang, yeah, that is your week. That is your last week before D-Load week. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll see you on Monday.